Good morning, it's Mother's Day, and this is what my mom's doing. Well, not my mom, but my mother. How about that? Is that, is that more accurate? My mother? What I call you? My children's mother? My, <laughs> my baby mama? Come on, baby mama. Yeah, so I asked her both last night and this morning when we woke up, what do you want for breakfast? And she's just like, well, I'm not gonna tell you what she really said, but she wouldn't answer me. And so then we get out of bed and she makes herself a cup of coffee the way she likes it. And she's like, I wanna drink my cup of coffee out back. It's so nice out. I was like, all right, that's what you want. So that's what we're doing so far. My guess is that she's just going to be stringing me along all day. I feel like doing this. No, I feel like doing that. Nothing planned. She doesn't want to plan anything. She just, when she feels like doing something, we're just going to do it. Is that about accurate? Yep. So what's this? A card for mom. A card for mom for Mother's Day? Happy Mother's Day. We're hugging. And Sierra's saying, I love you. And I'm wearing purple. <laughs> you have like a pink color on. That's a big card. Aww. Okay, I'll read it out loud. This is what Sierra wrote to me. Oh. Dear Mommy, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for giving me lots of love and taking me to lots of restaurants. <laughs> Thank you for giving me lots of toys and tucking me in at bedtime. And once again, Happy Mother's Day. So sweet. <laughs> That's really good, Sierra. Come here. Pretty flower. You think I'm back? No. Oh, baby. We those were our hands, so we curled them up on the oh. leaves, and um, we curled the hand, the fingers with the pencil. That was a cute idea. <laughs> There's more. Oh my goodness. We were going to make. Teacups instead of that, but the kindergartners did so easy. I love you, number one mom. All right, so this is what my backyard looks like. Not really much to look at. I've got one pygmy date palm that's still still alive, and uh, patchy grass. When I bought this house, original owner, dirt yard, dirt lot, right? I poured this big patio and the walkway along the back of the house. My dad and I laid down the sod, dumped out the rock, we planted palm trees and hibiscus all the way around, right? We had a gorgeous looking yard. But as we uh, started having kids, our lives changed, we got busier, uh, we stopped coming back here. We stopped using our backyard. We went more to parks and uh, we, you know, we camped and uh, we were more on the go, right? Not necessarily homebodies. And I'm an out of sight, out of mind person, right? So if it's not in front of my face, I forget about it. Well, we stopped using the backyard, so I stopped coming back here to remind myself that I needed to do things with it. And one of the, my biggest regret from doing my own backyard was I didn't put in a timer. I didn't put in a self-timer to water the plants, right? Because if you don't water plants, they die. And so one by one, my palm trees died, my hibiscus died, uh, a couple of them got some fungus or disease and they, they died out. And uh, so for a couple of years, all I had was grass and the one palm. Well, I uh, didn't. I, I, I'd hardly ever put in winter grass, and uh, I let the grass die for a whole summer. And if you don't water Bermuda grass, it doesn't come back every year, right? And so it died, and we have dirt now. So for Mother's Day, we are giving Mom a green grass, green backyard, a pretty. Well, I wouldn't say pretty because there's just gonna be grass today. We'll, we'll worry about trees and stuff later, but. Uh, we're gonna get some sod. We're gonna we're gonna have a green backyard by the end of the day. Oh, good egg sandwich, huh? <laughs> Ben's hot bagels in Delhi. Little breakfast, Mother's Day breakfast. Where are we at? Home Depot. What are we what are, what are we getting? Um, but we got this Chinese. Something. Chinese evergreen elm, or no evergreen? Yeah, is it elm? I don't know. All right, phase one. We got ourselves a uh, Chinese evergreen elm planted. First of many trees to go in, but the only tree going in today. Next phase, sod. So that's uh, that's Tiffany's Mother's Day gift. She bought herself a little personal mister while she's out here sun tanning. And this is uh, where we're at with the sod so far. We got about what is that, Sierra? About 13 pieces, you said. 
You counted about 12, 12. 13? Well, 13, we just laid one more down, so. 13 down, a whole lot more to go. Yeah, 14. And it's hot. It's Arizona. Mommy! We're creeping up to 100 degrees. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. Does this mean it's officially summertime? We're eating watermelon out back? I don't know. It's damn good, though. Uh, it needs to be a little bit red. It would taste better. It would probably be more red when it gets warmer. It's still early, I think. Are you enjoying your Mother's Day? So far, so good? Hey, look it! Get him, Bryce. Bryce, get him. Get him! I don't know how to... I don't know how to spray this one. You want an extra clip? Yeah. That's awesome. Let me see, Bryce. You have to um, look at that backwards. Your second second clip there? You're ready to go, huh? Sierra's having a hard time. Come here. Look at Daddy show you, okay? Oh, you don't get any muscles? <laughs> look, look. Pull forward, see? Push. <laughs> we are making a frozen banana, no, um, smoothie. And we have to peel the frozen banana and then we have to cut it up. And then we got to put strawberries, banana, and juice into a blender. Add one teaspoon vanilla ice cream. Blend and pour into a glass. Then serve. Okay, so we, now what? We got all our things cut, so now we have to pour everything into the... Into the smoothie maker. Take the lid off there. Okay, so we've got pour the strawberries. strawberries. We've got some bananas. Bananas are mushy. <laughs> Juice. I'm gonna pour the apple juice in. Put it upside down and then you can squeeze it. There you go. Apple juice. Now we have to get our ice vanilla ice cream. Scoop of vanilla ice cream. We need a little bit more. Uh, let's see how that turns out there. Alright, hit the smooth button. Nope. All the way over to the side, yep. Bryce, what are you doing? I thought you was gonna blend it again. So he's gonna put that air on the It's too loud for you? Silly goose. Alright, so now now you're gonna turn it on turn it on and hit the mix pour button. Mix pour? Yep. All right, so the uh, first half of the yard is done. We got sod laid on the uh, on half of the yard. There's still a lot of patchy grass, so we kind of, towards the end, we kind of started patching the grass instead of rolling it out on top, trying to even it out. So like patches over here, if there's grass underneath them, it's kind of like a hump. So instead of rolling sod on top of that and having these, these mounds underneath, we kind of started doing a patchwork. So. We'll water this side, and this side should grow back. And uh, we'll grab a couple more pieces and fill in the gaps here in a week or two once uh, everything starts turning green again. And uh, within a month, we should have a pretty, pretty green backyard. We got the first tree in there, and uh, I think week by week we'll just plant another tree until we get uh, you know the backyard back to the way it was uh, <laughs> five years ago. There's mommy just chilling, straight chilling. Got her new, got her a new patio chair. Enjoying some chips and salsa, a few cocktails. Admiring our yellow grass. Our yellow greenish grass. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like a blue green. It's like a blue green. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. There's some pieces over there that have cow shit on them. <laughs> they smell fantastic. No, we don't. Say hi. Ah! Say hi. Ah! He's camera shy. 
So yeah, we're doing a little uh, dinner with brother number three. Got the grill going. Got some corn, some uh, grilled veggies going on. I love this. I got for Father's Day. Was it Father's Day or my birthday? I think it was my birthday I got, or Christmas. I don't remember. I got this grill tray for the vegetables. Love it. Love it. Little tri-tip down there. vegetables but there's some zucchini and a tri-tip. Mm. Look tasty? Does it look good? Yeah. All right let's do it. Let's cut it up. Any a spot on the stove or Tiff you want to grab your cooking pad thing for the vegetables? Because I think that thing's gonna be hot. And I'll move my computer in a second. I need something to put the vegetable tray on it's gonna be hot. On the grill. So I need your like little tray or something. Eating his um, macaroni and cheese with his hands. Hey yeah. okay. you know what? He's eating. That's all that matters, right? Is that num nums? The nummy? Ah! Ah! He gets scared of the camera. He's doing better. He's doing better. He's doing better. <laughs> I think it's the red lights. I turn the red lights up. I think it'll be good. Him? Yeah, him. You. You. You know. You know. How's dinner, guys? Good. Good. Is it good? Is it good? The steak. Thumbs up. The steak's awesome. The steak's awesome. Hope all you mothers out there had a fantastic Mother's Day. See you tomorrow.